Hey guys, it's Edward here and today I'm gonna be sharing with you the facts I learned about walking with the long cane. So just a while ago there I had a mobility session and <clears throat> I have to say like there I'm gonna be honest there were there were facts that I did not know about. First of all, sweeping the cane. You don't sweep like, uh, uh, like mad, like, like, shoo. no, you don't do like very wide sweeps because I was told in college that always use your cane, like no matter how wide is the obstacle. Yes, that may be true, but you don't <laughs> do mad sweeps like, as or like, you you're gonna end up tripping someone up, which is which wouldn't be good. The second one I learned was that, and that's to do with the road. No matter, I mean, well, I suppose it does, but at the same time, to I'm gonna rephrase it. There is not ne no necessary to be worried if. <coughs> There is a car coming, well, probably not coming towards you, but like e even like about to move or whatever, because the drivers will actually see you and they wouldn't be moving when you're trying to move. Because again, I was told that Yes, always make sure that you're safe. Yes, I always listen out. I was listening out the any traffic like on the if it's like on the on the on the left hand side or the right. Like I was told which direction to listen to. And apparently it's like, it is actually a bit tricky because I actually did do it in college. And the other thing I learned is that like. When approaching the traffic light, you are feeling the tactile line all the time, like... Yes, I knew that before as well, but there are different tactile lines, I presume. And as of me, as a visually impaired person, I can feel the difference of the road, the smoothness, and all of that kind of thing. So basically, like... <laughs> It's, th these are the ones that I actually, especially the one with sweeping, I never knew that you don't have to, and you're not even supposed to sweep like, Ugh! like mad, like, no, you only sweep at the length of your shoulder. Because what I was doing back in my college, I was sweeping from left to right, past my feet kind of across my feet even no I you're not supposed to apparently do that and the way to hold your cane is not to hold it on the flat side like not to hold it like how to describe this not to hold it like kind of the I suppose the handle facing upwards. Yeah, that's the thing. The handle facing upwards. You have to apparently hold it facing it sideways, like you're shaking hands with the cane. Because, like, and as well, if you're having a cane with the big um, roll wheel, then it's it feels apparently to me as well that you have more control over it when you actually have it because like it's really feels like you know guys like when you're actually driving you feel apparently you you of course you can feel the control when you're controlling the steering wheel that's the way it is with the cane it's as easy as you can actually describe it so you can basically yeah so you can basically feel the controlling how you actually can as if you're actually steering a car but you're actually steering yourself if you know what I mean so these are the, these are a few facts that I learned about the law uh, walking in the road with long cane 
So leave a comment below what you think of this video and leave a comment of what you what you've learned as a visually impaired person. Any of those my subscribers who are visually impaired, feel free to leave a comment on their experience on what did they learn about your on what did they learn about their experience with um walking with the cane and and especially swiping the cane. So yeah, leave a comment below of your own experience. That's it for today. I know it was a pretty short video, I just but I just wanted to share that little experience with you that I learned today. I will be uploading maybe I don't know mm, can't promise you that, but maybe definitely not Wednesday or Thursday. But maybe Saturday. I yeah. But I, I'll see. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. And remember Leave a comment below of what your experience was with learning how to walk with a long cane. That's it for me, Edward Navakis. See you next time.